It's now time for the changing weather. March weather madness. This is a special weather report with another storm taking aim on the plains. What is this one going to do? It has gone from near 80 in Kansas City to snow Saturday night. What happened there? I'll show you. To 70s, back to snow. What is happening in this wild weather pattern? And unfortunately, we also had a deadly tornado outbreak with 40 tornadoes. I'll show you how the LRC predicted that. I'd love to hear your take on that. All right, so let's take a look at this. I'll go full screen here and show you it is March weather madness. Look at this. Debbie Olmsted from Bates City. That's between Oak Grove and Odessa in Missouri right on I-70. It snowed in Kansas City. Some spots got near an inch as well, but this is like three inches of snow from that comma head that formed. Wow, thank you for sending that in, Debbie. What happened? Well, the second wave of energy that produced more of the deadly tornadoes into Sunday, it started intensifying, and right in here, if you look closely, right here, see that? The little upper level low formed near Kansas City and it formed just strong enough where all of a sudden snow bands started developing. Rain and snow bands started forming. So that small upper level low was impressive and not predicted well. A couple models in the morning, Jeff Penner and I thought, oh, there's a possibility there could be some snow if it forms fast enough. But even we did not think that was going to happen. So surprise. That storm that produced all the deadly tornadoes is finally moving off the coast, leaving Kansas City with sunshine today. You can see, see this? There are the Rocky Mountains with the cirrus clouds forming right on the mountains and off to the east. And then out west is another storm system. Here it comes into California. Look at this. California has a storm. Here's the center of it moving into just north of San Francisco. And this trailing edge of rain may make it to Southern California some rain showers as the next storm moves in. And that's the energy that's going to come out and produce this. What the heck is another powerful storm? I'm going to talk about it, the reasons, why is this all going on? Is it the LRC? Is it the weather pattern? Is it climate change? Let me tell you, it really is just the weather pattern that's causing all this. And there's some... There are some indexes that have been going up and down and all over the places in place. And I'm going to talk about that in the report uh, tomorrow. You can go and join if you want to. Weather2020.substack.com. Weather2020.substack.com. And become a premium member. And you get to, in the next year, you'll go, wow, I, I understand the LRC better now. But look at this. Low pressure area. South winds. North winds, 983. It's almost as strong as last week's Category 2 hurricane strength system. It's almost that strong again. And Kansas City being right here, this is 1 a.m. Tuesday night, Wednesday morning, south winds. So it'll be in the 60s. And then here comes the system that tracks. Here's Kansas City now right here. Look at this, a blizzard forms from near Minneapolis back across northwest Iowa. So an area that probably needs some moisture is going to get some. And then as it heads towards Kansas City, look at this wraparound snow. There is a disturbance that I'll talk more about in the next couple of days that comes down the backside that may produce this band of snow and rain. Since it's going to happen during the day, 7 p.m. Wednesday, the sun hasn't set yet. It probably won't accumulate on any of the roads, but there could be up to an inch on grassy surfaces. But look at that storm system, another one developing. One of the models, the NAM 3K, shows a band of snow coming across Kansas City during the afternoon on Wednesday. North winds 20 to 45 miles per hour. The green is rain, the blue is snow. Again, this is valid Wednesday afternoon. And if you go back to the other map, that's valid 7 p.m. Wednesday. So most of the models do have this band 
that little vorticity, a vorticity band comes across. High winds, rain, snow, blizzard. Oh my goodness, some thunderstorms not as severe as last weekend, but my gosh, was that a bad storm. How much snow? Look at this, some spots in the green, that is 14, 15, 16, 18 inches. So one foot of snow is possible or more in this band that's gonna have a blizzard. So, and then that northern edge in North Dakota. Kansas City, more likely a dusting to an inch at the most and on grassy surfaces. So this is the forecast by Thursday as this system comes across. All right, I want you, I want you to open your mind to something here, okay? This, what you're seeing here, is the forecast for severe weather for this past weekend made February the 8th by Weather 2020 using the LRC, all right? So I'm asking you, I'd like to know what you think. I'll, put, I'll probably do a Facebook Live tomorrow. We can talk about it then. But what do you think? So some people look at this and don't realize the forecast was made 35 days ago. And how? Deep scientific research, all right? We looked at the 500 millimeter flow, the surface flow. The pattern is cycling regularly. Otherwise, how can I predict this? And we have been over 90% of these predictions. So take a look at this, and I'd like to hear what you think. If you go to the comments, make sure you subscribe to this YouTube channel, go to the comments, and let me know what you think of this. If you don't see it, some people say, hey, you predicted severe weather in Russia, and it happened in America. That's how far apart they said this is. Well, you, you judge for yourself. Look at this, all right? So, let me go back to the current for the current slide. So this is the prediction. The yellow area was potential severe weather. Then the dark reds are very rarely put a third level in here, but we predicted there could be a major outbreak, and there was. The reason I cut off this yellow area up here, by the way, is because I thought it might be too cold at this time of the year. So, but look, I want to show you the reports now. Ready? Here's where all the severe weather happened. Each one of these dots is a severe weather report. Large hail, damaging winds, and or tornado and possible flooding. The little houses are flooding. So you can see, yeah, a few of the reports fell out of our area, but you see, I literally would have drawn that in. I just thought it'd be too cold at this time of the year. Remember, I made this forecast 35 days ago. So the forecast is the shades of color, and then here's the reports that actually happened. Tornadoes. Here's where all the tornadoes have been reported so far. Not bad. Look at this, this is our prediction using the LRC. Again, do you realize that this already produced severe weather in cycle one, October the 6th, cycle two on November the 20th, cycle three on December the 28th, a major outbreak in that same area, February 5th and now. So this is going to happen. I should have put the other forecast on here. Imagine this is going to come back. So March 16th, around April 24th to 28th, somewhere in that range, right around my birthday, is when this will return and it'll be farther north and west and possibly worse. All right, so March weather, man, let me know what you think about that. Do you see it? Believe me, I'm getting mocked by some people. I know, I'm too sensitive, right? March weather madness summary. Another strong storm is developing and will impact the area, the part of the United, large part of the United States. Severe risks are lower this time, thank goodness. A blizzard is likely in the northwest quadrant of the storm. Kansas City will go from 70s to 30s with a chance of some snow on Wednesday afternoon with a dusting to an inch on grassy surfaces. Another storm system is due around Sunday. The Kansas City blizzard part of the pattern is due near the end of the month. What? Yes. The, we're in now this 10 to 12 day stretch, we're just moving into it, of where about the next two weeks, where the conditions for the blizzard happen in January, the snowstorms in February, that's coming back through. We'll be cold enough though this time, we'll, we'll see. All right, you can get your forecast anywhere in the world. Have you downloaded the app, the Global Predictor app? Get it on Google Play. Download it in the Apple Store. 
Remember, you have to get the pre, the pro version. Global Predictor Pro is for less than a cup of coffee, five dollars and ninety nine cents a month, and you will love it. We're getting a lot of great reviews right now of people loving it. You know, let you know highs, lows, rain and snow, and for the next six months, if you've got an event planned, it is awesome for that. So there's your your forecast. Let's go back and just look at what, what we're looking at again. This is impressive. I mean, look at that storm forecast by Wednesday. It's going to be interesting to track. That is for sure. All right. I hope you enjoyed the changing weather. Again, if you have a chance, let me know what you think. If you don't see it, if you don't see that our forecast from 35 days ago was quite accurate, let me know. By the way, some of the criticism that comes in is, is well, if this, in March, mid-March, that's where it's supposed to happen. Yeah, I know. I didn't say, hey, in the middle of March, it's supposed to happen. I predicted this period of time for that. So 40 over 40 people were killed. Our thoughts and prayers go out to the people that are, are, are being affected. And of those 40 people, if they would have known 35 days ago and thought, this is one of those LRC storms. Let's pay a little closer attention to that. Could we have saved some lives? I think so. I don't know if it's one life, two life, or, or all 40. But even if you just save one or two lives with the LRC, isn't that worth it? Have a good day, everyone. I'm meteorologist Gary Lezak. Thank you for watching The Changing Weather.